Hey guys, Vico here. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I've done a World of Warships replay. Uh, it's also been a long time since I've actually played World of Warships. Uh, I figured I'd get back into it and uh, play the Tachibana at Tier 2. <laughs> uh, tier 2 Premium, 5 kilometer range on its torpedoes at 44 knots. The guns are at 12 rounds per minute, which is pretty nice, and I think that's the hallmark of this. Plus the concealment rating of 99, as opposed to its 66 maneuverability. It's really slow, 30 kilometers an hour max speed. Now, of course, with Commander Perks, I have my Minikaze crew, or my Minikaze commander in the Tachibana. So there are some perks that come along, like getting your rudder taken out or your engine taken out. You can still move. Um, so here on the Solomon Islands, I figured I'd give it a go. So it's off to a rocky start. There's not team killing, but a lot of team damage that happens, not because of me, but because of others here in the uh, slit in the middle of the, uh, the two islands. But I'd figure I'd do the common thing with destroyers and go ahead and get in there, see what I can spot, and get out. And this Ten Ryu, he... Uh, he really kind of messes it up. Now this is a little bit of a replay bug, and the same can be said for uh, my targeting with uh, with my torpedoes and my guns. So you'll have to excuse the replay bug. Uh, this is a patron-sponsored post. If you're interested in sponsoring the channel for as little as a dollar a month, any support helps. If not, I do appreciate any likes and subscribes or any feedback you can give me. Uh, the biggest thing I'm hearing is volume mixing and a uh, big mistake on my end especially with my last video so let me know please uh, how's the volume mixing on this particular replay okay so the Tachibana I did my thing got in there spotted four enemies and then I'm getting out I'm gonna let the, the cruisers in there take care of business but of course the Wakataki on our team decides to join the fun and you can see the pink on the uh, the team, the team chat there happening. Not being too effective here. Firing into smoke screens is, ten, ten, is what people tend to do with torpedoes or guns. I want to try to go after their Durski, but torpedoes are risky. I go ahead and try to take it and see what they can do. And with our two cruisers right there, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. I look at the west end of the map and notice that that's the most contested corner. So I think about getting out of there. Trying to avoid any future torpedoes that come in. Our Emden in the east end is trying to hold his own. Yeah, those two torpedoes, uh, that two two torpedo spread that I just did there. Um, we'll see what happens. So I decide on going to the west end of the map and trying to cover with the Samson there, and I th I forget who else ends up coming behind him. We're not doing too too good here with the uh, the amount of deaths we've taken, partially contributed by team damage, but it's okay follow the Dresden on our team and the Yumikaze on our team. They'll be doing some work later and uh, I believe that with my support they contributed to our win. An excellent carry by our Dresden in particular. Uh, not an easy guy to kill this match. I start looking at the map and notice that the other Tachibana, the one on the other team, is pushing through the, the slit in the middle which makes our cap easily contested. I decide to turn around, and I forget what I was launching the torpedoes at. I don't remember uh, with the replay bug, but that was a foolish move either way if you can see the direction they're traveling versus the Dresden in our team who's going to end up carrying us. I don't know what I was thinking here. Uh, thankfully, those didn't hit him. Uh, very foolish mistake on my end. Either way, the Dursky and the Tachibana have to go. They gotta go. 
Remember the 5 kilometer range on my torpedoes versus the 5.2 surface detectability range. I'm trying to play this like a, a um, Japanese destroyer and I really shouldn't. Uh, the gun's rapid firing, not a lot of alpha damage, more like a, a almost an American or, or a, a suicidal uh, Russian destroyer. And that's, that's the thing about the Tachibana that, that sets it apart from its other Japanese destroyer in the, in the destroyer family is that they, uh, you don't play the Tachibana like you do any other Japanese destroyer really. Uh, it's a little bit of a journey to get from this end to that of the map to the rock on the other side that I'm trying to go to but our South Carolina is trying to catch up and the Yumikaze on the other end he is holding his own against those three those three ships trying to deny them from getting around our northeast side of our, our flank So after a quick map check there, it's time to take these guys out. Now there's, they have friends. The South Carolina on the other team and there's a Chester on the, on the enemy team. They're coming around the south end right now, but not spotted. We have to take out these guys here. Uh, they're the closest, most immediate threat. I've got enough health to be able to wither some damage. So it's best that we take them out. Yumikaze is doing okay, so this rock in front of us is going to be my friend for a little bit. It's time to focus down on the Wakataki first. Might as well use my guns. I'm spotted and I have cover from the cruisers on the other side. But in a second, the other destroyer, there he is, is going to pop up. Now it's about prioritization, really. But if you notice the the team the team set up on the top, it's it's withering slowly down to even numbers, but they're still they still have us on points. We have to do some damage and get some kills in order to level the playing field. The Wakataki is about to go, so I decide to focus my efforts on my left, using the rock as cover, buying some time. I set the shot up. Speculative, yeah. Now that I'm going to be spotted any second, buy some more time by getting back into cover. Not bad. Now we're down to two bad guys on this side. It's time to switch the mode really to a World of Tanks uh, catch the mouse around the rock kind of thing where this rock is protecting us from them and protecting them from us. Our Dresden, he's on a quarter health. He's about to be in a lot less health. But he's going to be our lifesaver. Me, the Dresden, and the Yumikaze own the rest of this game, but everything goes to the Dresden. He's going to work with his guns, and he's about to get taken down to almost no health. I think 265 health is what he ends up on. There it goes, down to nothing almost. But him and I took out the biggest threat on that side. Now it's time to focus on the destroyer. We only got one left and once we take his eyes out of the game it's just a matter of uh, harassment fire on the Chester and the South Carolina on the enemy team. I think this is where my destroyer skills kind of come back from memory because I've been playing horribly to start. And at tier 2 uh, you can either seal club, n maybe not in this destroyer per se, but or you can play your best and I'm not good enough at, at World of Warships to even try to anything special so I'm just going in and being mindful that if he turns that means he's probably going to launch torpedoes towards me. Our Yumikaze goes to work on him. I'm going to work on him. Have a fire set. The Dresden's uh, hosing him down with high explosive. Try a torpedo spread, but he turns. I try a speculative launch on my torpedoes. Try to launch him ahead of his path. He's turned. I know he's going to launch torpedoes. I'm the closest anyways, so I turn 
where I think they'll be, and then I decide to turn away because I haven't seen them. There they are. And I think it's a good, good thing that I turned away. <laughs> but he's not a problem anymore. So the Dresden, watch the map. He turns in, and it looks like he's come to help us, the Yumikaze and I, but very smart move, very good player, that Dresden. He is going to make a bolt turn to the south and head towards the enemy cap with what I assume is the hopes that the Yumikaze and I will be able to harass the Chester and the South Carolina and the enemy team enough to buy us some time by resetting the cap. And hopefully we can win by capping, which is exactly what happens. Spoilers. <laughs> so I make a few mistakes here. It doesn't cost us the game, but I guess it's lesson learned. I'm not spotted yet. The two mini islands here really interrupt my torpedo process and I, and I start using my Minikaze skills thinking about torpedo range. And I start launching, launching torpedoes that in essence were useless to do because of the five kilometer range. I'm spotted. He's likely to get within torpedo range by, by the time they get there, but they're gonna end up gonna hit, they're gonna hit that island in the center. Ineffective with the smoke here, really. Uh, I have to turn a little bit more to my right. Very ineffective. I'm still spotted. But once I turn, there we go. Now what I could have done here was stop and, and shoot out of my smoke screen while it lasts, but it, it was risky because they could have shot into where they saw my, my fire coming from, from my ship, so. I didn't stop. So the Yumikaze and I are gonna try to get to work on the Chester, obviously. Can't launch torpedoes here because they'll go into Chester's path. Replay bug, <laughs> another one. And I know the Dresden is getting a little upset in chat, or at least that's how it looked and I can't say I blame him. I need to turn around, get back in the cap circle, get within suicide range and do some damage to reset that cap because he's not in in the enemy cap circle just yet so yes i'm going back into the cap circle and i think my torpedoes aren't effective until the dresden on our team actually gets into the enemy cap but at least we have some area denial. We're making the Chester and the South Carolina turn, making them think, resetting the cap, replay bug. <laughs> I'm not quite within range, but they might sail into my torpedoes. It'll make them turn and might give the Yumikaze some shots. At least that's what I was thinking. They know I'm there, but they're not focused on me. So it's time to put the rate of fire on these guns to work. If I can hit my target. Try to launch some, I think, right through this slit here. No, no, I launch them ahead of the Chester. There we go. Now he's gonna start pointing his guns at me. There we go. Now is the time to turn around and get out of there. They're focusing on me. It's time to, for the Minikaze to get to work. Just at the edge of my torpedo range, and as slow as they are at 44 knots, who knows uh, what kind of work I can do, but at least they'll think twice about turning in one direction versus another. But with our Yumikaze gone, it's just up to me. I need to put just a little bit more harassing fire into this to keep that cap from going down so the Dresden can win on points. And I don't think at that range he has, he's able to fire at these guys, but I'm glad that he didn't. It's unlikely that, no, that range is too, too far. I was gonna say, just don't fire and you won't get spotted, but that's on the other end of the map. With my engine boost still going, I can launch another salvo of torpedoes if I shake my rear end a little bit to avoid some shots. 
think this torpedo spread takes care of the Chester, or is it my guns? Forty-four knots is pretty slow. All right, I'm on fire. My health is dwindling down. I used my damage control ability. I think I get caught on fire one more time, but it's a there. It is. My steering gears are taken out. One of my guns are taken out. It's a good. I uh, or my engine's taken out. I should say. I'm really glad that I used my Minikaze crew in the Tachibana, and it's a. Uh, it's a great ship to train your captain. Uh, with the XP you can earn with a premium. So I'm trying to separate distance between me and the Chester. And I think one of these torpedoes hits and finally takes him out. Still spotted. And I know he's going after me. Now I'm not spotted. Still hit me though. That was a really good hit for having not been spotted. I thought I was shaking my rear end. But now that I'm not spotted, I should have gone into the cap and helped out, but we would have capped by the time I got there. So that's it. We end up winning on points by capping. As you can see, not a bad result uh, for tier two, having not played this game in a while. <laughs> All the missions done, 149,000 credits received. Not bad. At four, tier 2, 45,000 damage, having not touched a destroyer in quite some time, especially a, um, a Japanese destroyer that's not particularly Japanese. Um, I guess it is like riding a bike. Having done top on damage, uh, partnered with the Dresden, who uh, came in as a second place there. Um, not bad. Uh, I'm glad that I could help out the team. I don't think this was a carry. I think that I just uh, made enough successful mistakes that helped us win. Until next time, I'll see you guys out there.